everyone, welcome back for another short how-to video. I guess this one was inevitable, huh? I did a quick video on the door on the box car there, and um, now I was going to show you how I made these uh, cardboard rolls. So my industry back there is PCA of America, I think. They make cardboard boxes. So they get cardboard, rolled cardboard inbound in these types of containers, I believe. Um, and then they produce boxes to send out to food companies, whoever. So uh, I wanted a way to model these uh, stacks on the dock and also kind of show uh, maybe some cars getting loaded or put some in the cars like I had over here. Um, and this, this industry sits about 30 inches back, way back in the corner here. So it's, I was not worried about anything super detailed. I just wanted something to represent these cardboard stacks of rolls on the dock. And, uh, I think I came up with a great little idea. So with that, um, let's get into how I did it. Hey everyone, as I'm showing you the materials I use in this project, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you like these short how-to videos. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel to catch all my layout updates, layout tours, operations videos, and short how-to videos as well. And I'll also I periodically post pictures on my community page, so check that out too. As for the materials, basically we need some gray paint, any type, any gray paint will do, or any color paint you want to paint the tops. Chart tape, which I will put a um, link from Amazon in my description of the video. Any stickers, I have these stickers that I use to label some file, file drawers, whatever for my layout. A Sharpie or any marker again to, to draw uh, the line on the, on the sticker. And a ruler, which I don't have shown. And obviously you'll need uh, some dowels. Um, I got these at Home Depot, but any uh, hardware store will do. Uh, again, I use 5 8 and 1 half. Five eighths are the thicker ones, one half for the, some of the smaller ones. End scale, if you could find something, probably three eighths or a quarter inch, you'd probably have to do. Um, I'm not sure how low they go, honestly, but that's where you'd have to be for end scale. Let's get into it. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I made these uh, corrugated rolls, cardboard rolls, it's super easy to make. I'm going to show you all the materials I used, and they make great, uh, represent, they represent cardboard rolls pretty good, I think. So the first thing you need is, um, for HO scale, I got 5 8 inch dowels and 1 half inch. 5 8 um, probably works a little better, um, but there's, all, there's different sizes of these rolls that they ship. So I cut them into three heights. Um, to represent like 24 foot stacks. And these are again going to sit on the dock. In a car they would be single stacked I think. Uh, so 24 feet, 16 feet, and 8 feet are the, the height of the rolls which re uh, corresponds to uh, 1 and 1 eighth for the 8 foot in HO scale, 2 and a quarter for the 16 foot in HO scale, and 3 and 3 eighths for the 24 foot stack in HO scale. So for end scale, you'd probably have have all those, half all those, um, which would be put you at one and one eighth for uh, the 16 foot and then just divide it up for the other two. So then the other materials I use are this chart pack graphic tape. It's called chart tape on Amazon. I got a 1 16th, 1 32nd, and 1 64th. Uh, 1 64th is too, too finicky to use. So I'm using the 1 16th and I think I tried the 1 32nd. So that'll be like the, kind of represent the stack in between, or you know, the, the lid in between the stacks. And then just some simple stickers. Like I have a sticker sheet I label my drawers with. And I just took a, a ruler and a Sharpie and made a line. And uh, you can paint these. I tried painting this one like a tan I don't know, I, I, I kind of like the regular color, to be honest, but I'm sure they're, they ship in different colors. Um, if you could find like a cardboard tube, I, I was looking like at our foil, our aluminum foil, and the, the cardboard tube was a little too thick. But if you could find thin cardboard tubes, they'd probably even look better. Um, but th this industry sits about 
30 inches back on my layout, so it's it's pretty far back. So I'm not really too worried about super detailing this at all. At all, it's just I want to represent stacks of inbound um, cardboard. So basically, what I do did is I take the the stack. You want to um, sand the edges down to get them pretty. You know, try to get them flat, and then I just took the uh, Oh, you also need some paint, gray paint. I use this Tamiya gray, Tamiya gray. All I did was, so I shook it up, get some paint on the cap, and then to take the end of this, dip it in a couple times, blot it. There you go. Perfect. Let's do that again here. Perfect. Get the gist. Then take your chart tape. Put it around like that. So I put the first piece up top, chart tape. You want to measure, try to find the middle. This is a two and a quarter, so one and one eighth. And then right here. And then I found that um, in some cases you might need to super glue that connection where the tape is. So, put that. Now we just take our sticker. guys work like this with the camera. Just find a spot. Boom. Oops. Pretty much it. There you go.